On the 50th anniversary of I Have a Dream, it's appropriate that our first speaker has made it to the mountaintop. He's literally been to the top of the world, climbing Mount Everest and writing about it for National Geographic. And wherever geopolitics unites with adventure, you can find Mark Jenkins. He's won awards for his articles, The Healing Fields and Who Murdered the Mountain Gorillas. He's published the books Off the Map to Timbuktu, The Hard Way, and A Man's Life. He's currently writer in residence at the University of Wyoming. Today, he's going to talk about bikes. So this is Mark Jenkins and Bike Ecology. It's great to be here. It's great to see a full house. I have to say that I actually went to this school. I was in this auditorium in 1974. <laughs> Looks a little different. OK, let's talk about bikes a little bit. Writer William Saroyan said, the bicycle is the noblest invention of mankind. It is also the most efficient. Converting calories into gasoline, the bicycle gets 3,000 miles to the gallon. The U.S. burns 19 million barrels of oil a day, over half of which is imported and 20% of which comes from the troubled Persian Gulf. Transportation is the number one cause of pollution in the United States. Cars pump 314 million metric tons of pollution into the U.S. atmosphere every year. Worldwide, 3.2 million people a year die from car pollution. Air pollution causes 50,000 deaths in the U.S. annually and costs $150 billion in public taxes. The average cost of a new car in the United States is $31,000. The average cost of a new bicycle, under $600. There are 254 million cars in the United States and 100 million bicycles. It costs $8,000 a year to drive your car, about $200 a year to ride a bike. Producing a car uses 100 times the energy and resources it takes to build a bicycle. Driving a car uses 100 times more energy than riding a bicycle. A bridge that can accommodate 40,000 commuters per hour needs to be 12 lanes wide if people are driving, and a mere one lane wide if they're on a bicycle. Twelve bicycles can fit in the parking space of one car. The average American spends 38 hours a year stuck in traffic, and each of those people are spending 808 extra dollars a year in gas. The gasoline tax in the United States is 45 percent. In bicycle-centric countries, such as Holland, it's 245. Automobile sales tax in the U.S. is 5%. In Holland, it's 47. Less than one-third of 1% 1 of Americans bicycle to work. In Holland, it's 30%. In China, it's 60%. In Norway, which is much colder and wetter than here, it's 10%. According to the CDC, 80% of Americans don't get enough exercise daily. And sadly, 60% of American adults are obese and 17% of our children obese. 25% of all trips made in America are less than one and a half miles from home. Another 50% are only three miles from home. Most of these are perfect cycling distances. Now, as most of you know, bicycling burns 500 calories an hour. In Laramie, that's 1,000 if you factor in the wind. <laughs> uh, cycling three hours per week cuts the risk of heart disease and stroke in half. Bicycling is the second most popular outdoor activity in the USA. This picture is actually taken in Russia. <laughs> Almost 50% of Americans would like more bike facilities in their communities. In the past decade, the middle class in America, its income has dropped 28%. The average American family spends 21% of its annual income on its car. The more people who bicycle, the safer traffic becomes in all communities. Traffic accidents in Portland, for instance, dropped in half when bicycling doubled. This is a picture out of Tibet, but members of the Laramie Bicycle Club were the first to explore Yellowstone by bicycle in 1883. The first person to bicycle around the world was sometime Laramie resident Th Stephen Thomas in 1884 to 1886. There are about one billion bicycles in the world, double the number of cars. 100 million new bikes are produced every year. So you want to save the world? You don't need to go to Africa or Asia or Latin America. Just ride your bike. 
Thank you.